Alright, what is going on? Welcome to the channel. Alright, so this is a little bit of FSD beta. Ooh, making some interesting moves right there. I actually did the right thing. Uh, now, we are here in Arlington and uh, we are, oh look at this, FSD in the wrong lane. Let's see what it does. It's forced to make a right. Better make the right. It's got the left turn signal on making a right. Now it made the right. All right, now let's see how it fixes this. All right, so very interesting. I'm, I'm glad I cut the video on for that. Oh, dang, it's gonna just make a right, right, right. All right, let's see what it does now. So yeah, I wanna give you guys a little bit of uh, FSD beta here in the rain and see what it does in certain situations. As you saw, it wasn't able to get in, a, in the left turn and it didn't want to make an illegal left, so it just went right. I mean, not just illegal, it wouldn't have been able to do that, period. It was like, um, there was no space, not just that. I think there was a little median on the road where it could have caused a lot of damage, so. All right, so what it did was just kind of circle the block one time, or square the block in this case. And uh, let's see it now try to redo what it couldn't. So first it's going to creep forward for visibility. It's got a weird trajectory going. I could help it. But I, for the sake of this video, I do want to see what it does. It is giving me warnings that, you know, vision may be degraded. Oh, so there goes our first takeover there. You know, it may have had space, but I think we were getting awfully close to that stop sign. So as you can see, this is definitely like a, a data point here for Tesla. To let them know um yeah that that wasn't a good uh move that it did and then on the way back it didn't really prove itself all right here it goes to uh try to straighten itself out a little bit it was swerving there but now we're back on track let's see if fsd can handle the remainder of this drive all right so it definitely you know degrades the performance of FSD because of the rain it also is going to warn you some of the previous builds used to just actually degrade it down to basic autopilot I haven't I haven't seen it do that yet uh, with version 11 I also haven't had so many rainy days to test this out so you know it there was times where you know it would still work in the rain but um, it, it would just kick on and off basically depending on how how rainy it was like it, it could sense that it was raining like a little bit and FSD would still kick on but I do remember one time I was um, driving up to the beach and it was raining that day and uh, we were actually attending a wedding over there this was um, last last year and um, FSD was you know, I had FSD, but it, I wasn't able to use it the entire drive up. But, you know, at the time, most of that drive was highway and navigate on autopilot. Actually, even that wasn't kicking in. It was just autopilot, basically, which on the highway, you know, worked pretty well, especially on like 95 North and things like that. So, you know, at the time, things were a little different, but with V11, um, it's, it, I, I would say it's kind of like a new platform. For not just FSD but for autopilot maybe this is what autopilot will grow into so yeah it's it's kind of weird but um, I, I don't think it's fair to say that oh version 10.69 was able to do this and version 11 can't because so much has changed from then till now starting with vision only right so that's the one huge difference and then the second difference is they have added fsd on the highway so this makes it so like all roads are just one stack of technology that runs on all roads instead before there was like Ooh. all right yeah they're, 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 yeah at least we made it through that safely um but you know, a little hydroplaning when it's raining out like this, you gotta expect that with or without FSD. But yeah, there, there was many driving modes before this. There was autopilot. You know, even if you had FSD enabled on your car, your car was still running autopilot at times. 
you know there was a navigate on autopilot and um you know now that i come to think about it you can't even test out basic autopilot if you wanted to you know like um unless it degrades itself down to it based on poor weather or something but as you can see here like we've got a pretty medium size storm going on you see the hydroplaning i mean it's not like treacherous rains coming down but it's collecting a little bit on the road so you know it is causing for a, a little bit of uh i wouldn't say flooding but you know it's 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 collecting a little bit so yeah fsd you know it's running pretty well in the rain it's running well on these roads which you know previous versions it ran on and it's running well on the highway now of course that comes with big asterisks like the very first thing is going to be like merging onto the highway you know it doesn't do a great job at merging onto the highway like i think that's a pretty common feedback even I, that's the first thing that i thought uh i thought that even the old version did better but again i can't keep comparing that because this is a new platform once again it's using using a whole new system uh so you know it, with that being said it's only going to improve at this point so that's like a good point you know to try to remember that you know instead of trying to compare it oh look at this fsc was able to count for the jaguar making a right awfully quick but it slowed down just enough to give him space and to kind of speed back up yeah all right so um i want to thank everyone for watching this video hope you enjoyed it you know this was a, a pretty good test of fsd in the rain with real life situations you know i wanted to try to show you some raw uncut footage where this wasn't planned at all i'm actually en route uh, to arlington here so i wanted to give you like a, a real life situation i'm not like running like a closed course over here i want to show you you know my actual drive and uh my goal is not really to try to sell you on FSD. You know, that was a personal choice of mine to, to buy when I got the car. But at the same time, I, I do like to share its capabilities, you know, and, and that's kind of the goal here is to kind of make, you know, people aware um, of the capabilities and of the safety. But no, number one, the safety. Uh, you know, if you watch any of my videos, you, you first thing I say is I'm ready to take over at any given moment. Like right now, you know, I get kind of sketchy through little intersections like that. But yeah, as you can see, FSD handled itself really good. Let's see with the yellow light, I would slow down, you know, and it's starting to even give me feedback on what it's doing, which is kind of like, which was my job. So as you can see, even AI is putting me out of a job. Left and right, AI is, um, working you know really hard and if you are you know online on pretty much any platform i'm sure you've seen ai generated art at this point and man is that scary because some of it is like really good it, in, a, in a sense where it looks real so um yeah this this you can kind of uh say is ai for the roads i mean not kind of this is it's artificial intelligence driving I mean, don't you think it requires some intelligence to drive? Now a computer is driving itself, you know? So this is not edited or, you know, pre-planned to show you any kind of CGI or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, in real life situations, it's gonna do what AI is designed to do, which is your tasks that you do daily, but you know with a bunch of zeros and ones so to say and and the thing about ai is that it's starting to move at a pace where humans can't handle you know like it's able to scour the entire internet once the best we can do is look at one app you know if i'm like i'm using twitter um i, I you know i can watch a, a video on youtube but I can't do both. All right, here we go with the left turn. Woo, really interesting job with the turn there. Um, the steering on that was just 
really uh, perfect, but not how I would have done it. I probably probably would have taken that at a different speed, first of all, but I can't complain. Um, you know, there was a little hydroplane going on there, but the same thing would have happened to me. Yeah, so as, as you can see here, a AI is making some really good decisions, and uh, it, it's something to, to think about because it's not just doing this for me. T Tesla is able to write this software and release it to all of the Tesla cars. It's their choice if they want to use it or not, and you know, it's kind of like the same thing with, say, ChatGPT. Just think about which, if you have used ChatGPT or are aware of it, you know, I've seen it be used. I've, I've typed in like um, things like uh, Batman versus uh, 007 in a fight or something like that. You know, Superman versus Flash you know, in a race or something, you know, things like this. But the, the thing is people use it for like their work. People use it for coding. And it, if you haven't used it, basically what it does is it generate text, you know, anything you can think of like, like um, emails and text messages and you know even code they basically like you know you got to be careful when people's post online nowadays too oh here we go with a really sharp right turn all right FSD handled that on a yellow light all right so wow great job there and uh, yeah I have to say I'm, I'm really impressed with this drive here there was a I'm not even sure if it was a takeover or not I can't remember this point i'm just really amazed with that right turn it just made um because i was ready to take over but it handled it yeah so 